Welcome to Let's Be Real 100%, where we are 100% real about life. We know that life happens and we are here to talk about it. And when I say we, I'm talking about it's all God and little old me. Join us as we jump into our topic today. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, hey, hey. It's your girl, Shine. Forget my background, of course, because I got the window open. But I just wanted the cool air to come in just a little bit. But good morning. Uh, welcome to Let's Be Real 100%, where we're 100% real about life. And you know, we're going to definitely talk about it, even in my own transparency. Um, so, yeah, it's been a while since I've been on. Uh, I've been tolling, y'all, like, for real. Um... I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do, questioning things, um, to be honest, and be truly transparent because that's what I do. I'm real and transparent. Um, I was going to truly stop doing it, um, but a really good friend of mine that I met via podcast um, had posted a video um, about <laughs> about something, and I texted her on the side, and I was like, sis... <laughs> you must have read my post because I was just saying I'm going to let go of Facebook, um, the Let's Be All Real Facebook. And because um, I barely even use my regular Facebook. Like, I mean, I didn't see the purpose of using it. I don't know. I'm not really a poster like that. But after she came and I told her, I was like, you must have read my post or whatever. She was like, no, let me go back and read it. And I was like, no, don't worry about it. I'm going to tell you what to say. I'm guessing she went back to go read it anyway. Um, but the, when I say I was like, the Holy Spirit must have been all up and through what you had said, because I was like, wow, I said, that's deep, like, that's real deep. So, um, I'm not going to post what I'm not going to say what she said, but pretty much it's just saying, you know, follow God, obey, you know, just pretty much, um, what I got out of it, um, because I don't want to take um her spoken word and um use it for myself that's not what I do um but yeah I, it spoke to me it spoke volumes and then like <laughs> the next day no actually it was probably about a couple of hours later you know the holy spirit reminded me of the prophecies that I've gotten within the last couple moments moments <laughs> within a span of time um, you know, of what and how I would be used in a way. Um, and it was just a tidbit of it all, you know. it. I don't even think it really was just a prophecy, to be honest. I think it was just, you know, God speaking and letting me know what, you know, what I was doing already, but just confirming it pretty much. Um, and then when I went to a conference, um, this random lady, like, one I don't, I wouldn't even know her from the moon, you hear me? Um, never seen her before, nothing at all. She pulled me to the restroom and was like, this, that, you know, she just started speaking and she was like, are you this and are you that? And I was like, yeah, like, do I know you kind of thing? Like, I don't know, you know, and you know, you know, we get to start questioning God about who he caught, who he sent, make sure he right, you know, try the spirit, by the spirit, you know, you be trying to, you be trying to do all kinds of stuff, make sure it's right, right, but it was literally, I knew it was right, only because not even the week before, or maybe two weeks before, the same word had came through somebody that I had trusted, um, so, yeah, I mean, truly, <laughs> I just need to stop I mean, and it's probably just not me, but, you know, questioning your calling, questioning, you know, what you're supposed to be doing. Maybe it is just me, but I just, you know me, I'm really, I'm real transparent. I'm real, 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 real. Um, And maybe it's not me, but anyway, I don't know. It might be for somebody out there. I don't know who it is, but if you're in my shoes, stop questioning God and just trust him and walk into what he's called you to do like 
I mean, you might not have heard him verbally say or send you a big old sign and say, oh, Sean, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And that's what I was expecting. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, Lord, I need a sign. I don't want to go another 35 years and not know what I'm called to do or when the end time come. I don't want to be caught questioning and they end up getting caught up in the satanic world, you know, believing what Satan has said, you know. I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to do, I don't want to do that. I told myself I will not go another day questioning God, especially after yesterday, child. After she spoke that word, baby, I was like, baby, you preached, honey. You did that. <laughs> you, you did that. So, um, and I said, yeah, it cut me, it cut me going in and out. That it, it did. And I'm not even going to, um, I'm not even going to be mad like I can't get mad I was thankful I was like thank you you know what I'm saying for being obedient thank you for allowing God to use the situation that you were in even if it was quite simple you know to give that word because I know I needed it I'm not sure about everybody else but I know you know I'm a little selfish when it comes down to the word because I'm like Lord that was me I try to find me in a lot of stuff um, and I asked God to take me out of it and just straight up Holy Spirit. Like, I don't want y'all to see Sean. Sean got flaws. You hear me? Tony LaShawn Harden has flaws. That's me. I got flaws. Um, no matter what name I put on it, I got flaws. Um, but with the Holy Spirit, I'm able to walk in the purpose that he wants me to. Um, so again, you know, trust God and what he says. Also, um, I woke up the other day with, and it just woke up. I was just like, you know, I have an expectation of God, you know, and, it, and I told God, I said, it don't even have to be me. It don't have to be me. I'm just expecting something God to happen. Not something good, but something God, because something good is not always good. <laughs> good is temporary. You know what I'm saying? Um, and... I woke up with the expectation, but it was before I started questioning God about my calling, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing. I still expected it, you know, and maybe that was it. I expected God to answer my question. I don't know, but he answered my question. That is definitely for sure. When she said, listen, if you are on my page, you, I'm friends with the person, just go and find it. I'm not even going to tell you who it is because I know if I tell you who it is, it's just defeats the purpose, right? Um, But... Anywho, um, I still have the expectation of God, you know, to do a God move, um, whether it's the saving of my children, um, cause I'm expecting that to happen, child, um, you know, just by showing his grace and mercy, it don't even have to be big, major, and 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 miraculous or whatever it doesn't have to be big you know but god everything god is big i just want to believe that you know because when he show up he usually show out right so but yeah i woke up with the expectation whether it's me or whether it's somebody else in my life that i'm connected to um i'm expecting god to move for you um whatever the situation may be whether it's relational financial spiritual mentally psychotically all those leads, I'm expecting God to move on your behalf. Like, truly and honestly, like, I really literally woke up with, I don't even care what, I told God, I don't care what the expectation is. I just expect it. I expect to see it. I expect to know that you moved, you know, because um, I know this is much bigger than me. God, it's so much bigger than me. Like, I'm just one person, you know what I'm saying? I'm just one flawless person or not flawless full of flaws of a person um and again i just i had an expectation and maybe my expectation like i said was yesterday when she spoke the word you know and just to trust god and move like we have the ability to god gives us everything we need um to walk into the calling that he has and as we go through it He holds our hands. He leads and guides us as we stay in his word, as we 
continue to walk and trust in him pretty much so um this is just a transparent moment i'm not going to let go of anything um not going to do any of that because i just felt empty i felt like a loss of words you know what i'm saying like I think I had more of an expectation of myself, you know, and then I wasn't utilizing what I had, you know, like I was expecting it to come to me, right? Mm -mm. It don't come out that way. (laughs) I learned that it doesn't, it's not going to come to you and it's not going to be like, hey, Sean, here it is. No, you have to work for it, right? So, anywho, I just wanted to come on here and be transparent. And if you are, if you ever been in the situation that I was in yesterday, questioning God, you know, wondering what your calling is, you know, continue, if you don't know, continue to seek God, um, and he will give you the answer that you need, seek his word, fast, pray, get amongst believers, you know, people that are pour into you, um, build you up, and all of that, um, because again, this walk is not just to it's not a lonesome it's not supposed to be a lonesome walk sometimes it is i'm not gonna lie sometimes it's a lonesome walk but as a beginner in christ you know you want to be around people even if you're old school old soul you still want to be at times you want to go get go to the gas station and get filled up right because we know we we need each other so just know that um again be around people that's going to give you what you need which is a god thing though you know god gonna lead you and god's gonna send you the people that you need so anyway um again trust god and yeah trust god and um expect god to move on your behalf because i'm expecting it for you um i know he will and i know it's gonna happen I know it. I know it, honey. I know it in my soul. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get my life clocked into this work, and I don't know what happened to my word document. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to encourage you this morning because I had to encourage myself and continue to trust God. So, again, this is your girl Sean with another encouraging episode. Um, I did record this on podcast, so if you do. Follow me on the podcast. Um, you can on Let's Be Real 100%. Um, I am on Instagram, Let's Be Real.100. Facebook, Let's Be All Real. Um, on YouTube, uh, Let's Be Real, Be Real, Be You. I had to look at my board because I get my, my brain get all discombobulated. Um, and if you want to share your story, you can always find me either on there, reach out to me on that. Or you can um, email me, uh, beingreal0413 at gmail.com. Um, or you can shoot me a text. I made a um, phone for that as well. If you know me, text me. If not, find me. And I'll give it to you. I'm not just going to post it out there because I don't need random people just <laughs> texting me and calling me. I'm like, no, not happening. But, you know, if you ever want to, there's a way to find me. So, anyway, your girl loves you. God loves you more. And, again, come to God. Um, It's not too late. Make 2023 the best year of your life by just giving your life to God. Straight up across the board. Your new year can start today by saying, God, come into my life. Save me. Deliver me from all these shenanigans that I got going on because it's real. And... As I feel it in my spirit, it's going to happen. I just got a lot just that just dropped down in my spirit just that quick. But come into my life. Save me. You know, uh, I need your help because I can't. I can't do this by myself. Like, I, you can't do this by yourself. It's not going to happen. Because these spirits is coming. And they coming full-fledged. They coming to still kill and destroy but God is going to come again to give life and more abundantly. You just got to give your life to him. And then after that, if you say your prayer, you know, getting his word, you know, it it, it, it's, it's, it doesn't stop with just saying that prayer. It's a, a lifetime walk that you have to do. You have to 
do your part and God going to definitely do his. So, um, again, we'll go into that lesson another day. Um, I'm not a preacher. I'm not a prophet. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a title. I'm a servant and I really am. And I believe that like you can have the titles, you can have the rhetoric. You don't even have to have my name, honey. Just know when you hear my voice, you see my face, I'm going to tell you to come to God. I'm going to tell you to get it right because I had to, you know, and I pray every day like a prayer, even with my own kids, um, because he had to do it for, I know plenty of people who are saved, you know, sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit. They can probably vouch the same story that God had to come to them in their own personal situation. Um, God don't come to everybody the same um, because he knows how to reach you you personally because he made you wonderfully wonderfully he knows you inside and out and he knows how to reach you so anywho again i'm not gonna preach that um that's another sermon this i mean another topic um which will be coming soon um because like i said that whole thing just dropped in my spirit a whole lot not just that but a whole lot of stuff see when you trust god (laughs) he just works it out for you he just, he just, he's amazing, God. Y'all have no idea. I mean, y'all do, y'all should know. If you don't know, have an idea, get to him. Uh, but anyway, I love you guys. I'm getting myself on this clock. And um, again, follow me. If you like this video, like it. If you don't, it's okay. Because it's not for everybody. That's what I learned. This video, these words, the encouragement, whatever. May God use it to the person that needs it. Um, may God, you know, come into your life and save you. May he come and love you. May he show his love, grace, and mercy upon your life. May he just blow your mind in this particular season. Um, your season might be today. It could be anything, you know, that you're asking God for. I pray he answer your prayer today. Um, because again, I'm a nobody, I'm a servant. So, um... Again, your girl loves you. God loves you more. Come to God today. Um, it's not too late. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you for listening to Let's Be Real 100%. Where we're 100% real about life. We hope that you enjoyed the topic today. And we hope that you trust God more and more each day. And we hope to see you next week.